conclusions? I don't think so, because it's like pretty apparent that Doug Funny might be a potential romantic interest. Well, but I mean, what if, like, I mean, what if I'd reacted this way after you had your little makeout session with your fangirl? Well, like... maybe I was trying to get your attention. <laughs> really? Genuinely? Yeah, to see how you would react to it and stuff. No, I mean, that was like, the makeout session was just bizarre. <laughs> but the thing is, is like, you didn't react to it because you didn't care. It's not that I didn't care, but it's like, I don't know, like I, it comes from a place of, like I was happy. Right. I was happy for you. I was happy that you got the attention. I thought it was hilarious and it was bizarre. It was more just funny. And it was funny, you know, but then this whole time, you know, if you ever go and like cuddle with somebody else or flirt with somebody else, like I'm happy about that. I'm happy about the fact that like you get that because of the fact that I care about you you know and I'm, and I'm not saying that because I think that that's the way that you should think or, or trying to like impose that on you or anything like this but it's just it's just a different mindset you know yeah completely and like I respect it a hundred percent I just don't want to be a part of it did you want me to react to it a little bit yeah I mean, it's one thing if I'm, like, giving Hex a hug or you're giving Taylor a hug. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't care. Like, we're all in this thing together mm -hmm. and it's, like, crazy. And it's, like, whatever. It's no big deal. Plus, I know Hex would, like, punch you in the face if you got too close to Taylor. <laughs> like, there are checks there, you know? But I think, like, bringing, bringing Doug Funny into the equation, like, first of all, it's a silly pursuit. And secondly, like, I, I don't know. It's just, I don't know. It's just not my thing, you know? I wish there had been the courage to ask for that reassurance earlier on. What do you mean? Like the reassurance that you wanted, you know? From The reassurance from what? From why is me. There, why is there a cow over there? Mm. From you about Doug Funny? No, just, I mean, like previously you know even about josh or whatever like it i have been i yeah, mean but that's like why that, i act the way i do the only no you like it was asked for at a point when it was like well if, like if you want to pursue josh then go pursue josh like don't be with me like like that's not that's waiting until it reaches the boiling point before it's asking not a for boiling it you know? like, nobody's boiling mm -hmm. like i'm not boiling well, no I, you know but you know what i mean like well, waiting I'm until a, like it reaches the point fact, of... I'm a very fact-oriented like, person. The bailing like, point, then. Yeah, the unveiling point. Like, I'm a very fact-oriented person. Like, I see things going on, and I, like, analyze them, and I try to, like, make a decision based on them. You know? But to me, personally, like, having interest in Doug Funny and then coming up and rubbing my back is, like, not what I want. You know what I mean? Like... I wouldn't, that's not how I operate, you know what I mean? Like, go talk to Doug Funny, go rub his back if that's what you want at that moment. Like, or, or like I can't, like, I'm too much of one person to have both, you know? What do you mean you're too much of one person? I have, like, too big a butt. I mean, like, I just have, like... I, what? I'm just, like, too, I'm not interested in, like, the Doug Funny, like... Like, I, I just can't do, I just can't do it, you know? And I think, like... Like, it's fine who you are. I have no problem with it. In fact, like, I'm encouraging it by saying, like, go pursue that. It makes me sad. Think I'm doing the right thing? Probably not. But I, I, I'm not the kind of person to just, like, sit and wait until it does reach a boiling point. Well, well what do you think is smarter or the right thing? For me? Yeah. To do this now instead of when you and Doug Funny are holding hands and you smile and wave at me because we're all, like, in... A happy union like then I'm gonna break Doug Funny's neck like it's not that's that'll be the boiling point like I'm gonna go in and be like Doug Funny and like push him on the ground funny you know and like you I really don't want to so? become that person what's that you really think so? yeah like I don't want to become that person that's not me so I think now is a better time to do it than like you said when it reaches a real problem Mm. 
you know, your own feelings of whether it's for you or not, or whether you agree with it or not, like, do you, do you hold respect for the way that I live my life? Yeah, of course. I think you're wonderful. Like, and I think your lifestyle is fine. Like, I see no, like, you don't understand. Like, I don't, like, you should see the people I, I'm, clo like, closest with in my own life. It's a much more, like, a morph, like, amorphous, like, crazy set of people than, you know, than you would think. Mm -hmm. And it's like, 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 I don't have any, like... I've been like that my whole life. Like, my parents have been like that. My grandparents have been like that. Like, like what? Like, uh, we enjoy the company of all people. And, like, I enjoy, like, what everybody has to bring to the table. And whatever lifestyle you're living, I totally respect it. Mm -hmm. So, it's not, like, my closest... The closest people in, in New York that I'm closest to is a gay couple that's been together for you know 25 years mm -hmm. you know what I mean and I can't say anything more but mm -hmm. like I don't like judge people I want everybody I'm friends with and know to pursue happiness mm -hmm. or to pursue what they believe will bring them whatever you know mm -hmm. but I would hope you would respect my like lot no. in life too no completely I'm, I know this probably counts as hearsay I'm just a little concerned that in that conversation is expressed that this is just about having multiple. Well, I'm pissed off, and I'm also like goofing around with those guys. Like that. That's bothersome to me. Why? Because that's not that's not like respectful. It's not representative of like. being respectful it's not representative of like what my life is actually about like if this was just about my behavior would have been a lot different from day one right well I guess maybe I'm just and I like know, I know that you're pissed off right now I understand that but like please at least have Maybe have the consideration to not slam my lifestyle. I'm not slamming your lifestyle. I was slamming the situation. Like, I have a decision to make. And you have a decision to make. And I'm, like, pissed off about it. But, like, we were, like, two people in a life raft, mostly. And it was, like... I happen to be very happy with the person that was in my life raft. And now I'm getting out of the life raft. And I'm scared. So am I. Like, it made this thing, like, tolerable. And would we be together hanging out the same way in the outside world? Probably, actually. But it wouldn't, like... I probably, w I mean, here's what would happen. I, you wouldn't have been, like, because of the constraints here, you never would have had the opportunity to get to know who I was. Mm. But because of the constraints here, I think you have time to recognize, like, I was a lot of things that you liked. Mm hmm I'm really glad about that. Oh, I don't sorry, I don't know why I'm reacting. Well, I'm not. Like, I didn't. I didn't behave well. You have every reason to be upset. I like moved my sleeping bag. Like, I said multiple dicks. I like.
talk in front of everybody. Like I reacted like a child. You know? I mean, it's not, it's not just that. It's, this place is just so odd and insular, like this insular little bubble that's just, seems like so not indicative of reality and well it's that's fine that's i mean that's fine that's that's the nature of it and it's like so it's the same exact situation out in my normal life i've been through it so many times that like this is like you know it doesn't what do you mean same exact situation like having to make this kind of decision because believe it or not a lot of people can't or don't want to handle or don't want to partake in this lifestyle and that's fine like that's 100% fine believe it or not like that rejection is a big part of this is a big part of my life and and I don't say that to make it into a sob story to make you feel bad for me or anything like I don't that feel bad for you know you. I, I say it just as like a matter of fact that like this is something that I've accepted a lot and honestly like has almost gotten to the point of not bothering me that much anymore because I get it like you know completely 100% logically get it and so and so it's weird to me like that it's hitting me as negatively as it is well but I know I why it's, it's hitting you negatively because it's hitting me negatively too I mean there's a reason it's hitting both of us negatively because there's like a difference between you and most of the people I meet and there's a difference between me and most of the people you meet so it's harder. Yeah. I mean, have I ever met anybody like you? No. Have you ever met anybody like me? I doubt it. Mm -mm. So it makes the like the wet gravity of it harder. We happen to meet in a strange circumstance, but it doesn't exclude the fact that we're two really cool people <laughs> with really cool ideas about <laughs> how to run a society. <laughs> You know? Yeah. If this had happened in the outside world, I'd be, like, moaning for days, you know? But I can't here. I can just act like a child and get all ramped up and then crash, like, tomorrow or the next day and then be like, fuck. You know? And start, like, chasing Amanda around more asking for scratchies because I have nothing else to do. <laughs> like, you've disrupt. I've di like, the whole planetary system of utopia is totally disruptive. <laughs> I'm probably going to start doing yoga with Nikki just to pass the time. <laughs> you know? Like, it's all going to be screwed up. <laughs> and, like... The issue for me, too, is, like, you have your, like, constellation on the outside, whatever you want to call it. And I was, like, totally fine with that because this was my first departure from the outside world was you. And, like, I could totally accept that that was your world out there. And I have my constellation. Mine is, like, a universe, actually, on the outside. And, like, I knew you would be okay with that because there is, like another universe between there and here but like to bring it in here it's like a whole different like circumstance for me it's not like 